What's up, YouTube? This is Sean Fry, Slidey 8 Fry here. So, uh, I'm about to do another React video. It's going to be to this one from Watch Mojo. I know there's a lot of Watch Mojo haters out there, but I don't really hate them. I do get that they that it's very repetitive, but sometimes they do, really do post interesting stuff, and I mean, I remember when I first started watching them in like 2011, 2012, whatever year it was, they didn't even have a million subscribers at the time, so they earned it, they built it up and got, you know, millions of subscribers, they're doing great for themselves, and I'm happy for them, they're um, a big company now, um, and you know what? This video I actually look forward to. I love Rick and Morty, but I also love Futurama. So let's see what what they do in their uh, matchup between the two. They've done other matchups before. They've done Homer Simpson versus Peter Griffin. They've done N64 versus PS1 since it's been 20 years. This was like a 2016 video. Um, they've done a several different verses before. I've always liked the verses ones, at least the ones in about stuff that I actually am interested in, like the N64, the PlayStation, you know, Peter Griffin, Homer Simpson. But now, Rick and Morty and Futurama, two awesome shows. Let's check There's them out. There's only room for one sci-fi adult animated series in this universe. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and in this installment Seems of Versus, to be the case for real. Two of the Futurama got canceled adult twice. Against each other. Rick and Love Morty to see it come back. Futurama. Looks like one of us will have to bend this great. Aww. <laughs> Round one. Characters. Hmm. Hey man, I don't give a crap about myself, Rick. Let's watch some crazy stuff, yo! While the brilliant grandfather <laughs> and dim-witted grandson are the main stars of the show, Rick and Morty boasts quite a collection of memorable characters. The Sanchez family may not seem too different in comparison to other dysfunctional families on television, but the way they're written gives their personalities... Summer is actually interesting. Beth may be the and alcoholic Beth, mother who of. regrets her life choices, but how she Sometimes. handles those frustrations is what makes her more interesting. The same goes for Morty's sister, Summer. On the surface, she's an angsty teen obsessed with getting popular. But how does she handle Beth and Jerry's divorce? Oh, Jerry. It's situations like <sighs> these that allow the show to build its characters and make them more relatable. I'm gonna have better judgment than you guys had at my age. I'm gonna move to the Southwest and, I don't know, do something with turquoise. On top of that, we have hilarious... Yeah, um, I'm warning you. And if you're talking about California when you mention the Southwest, it's very expensive here. I wouldn't recommend it. Maybe start with, like, Arizona or so or Nevada or something. That's way more affordable. Hilarious characters like Mr. Meeseeks. Oh, do something with turquoise. On top of that, we have hilarious characters like Mr. Meeseeks and oh, yeah. Nigerians that make every episode as memorable as the I love Mr. Meeseeks. Examine the discoloration on your butthole flaps with... Too loud, Cynthia. Too loud and too specific. Oh my god. Futurama does have episodes <laughs> that show new sides to its cast, but those oh yeah. episodes become so rare it can make the show feel like another The Simpsons. We recycle Ooh. everything. I don't know. Robots are made from old beer cans. Yeah, and this beer can is made out of old robots. And the sandwich you're eating is made from old discarded sandwiches. Nothing just gets thrown away. The future is disgusting. <laughs> has a couple of defining traits that yeah. represent them, and that's just about it. Fry is stupid all the time, Bender is a total jerk, Leela is always combative, the professor's old, Hermes is a bureaucrat, yeah. Amy is the flirty type, and Zoidberg is just there for the characters to bully. Again, yeah. each character gets their time to shine in a handful of episodes, but most of the time, they fall under the same stereotypical behavior. Bite my shiny metal ass. <laughs> Rick and Morty may be the newer face around town, but it managed to meet the expectations of modern television audiences with three-dimensional characters. Futurama, on the other hand, relies too heavily on one or two traits. Hey, I got me a souvenir! Ah, <laughs> uh, here you go, kid. Sure, these clashing personalities add to the show's appeal, but you can only binge it for so long before you start noticing the same kinds of reactions over and over again. Winner, mm -hmm. Rick and Morty. Uh, uh, to be honest, because, of, because I'm not too big a fan of Jerry, to be honest, I'm giving that to Futurama. I find the entire main cast likable. Jerry, uh, uh, in, in Rick and Morty, though, Jerry, I am not a fan of. I think Summer's pretty great. I do sort of like Beth. She's she's up and down for me. Uh, obviously, Rick and Morty are amazing, but I'm not too big a fan of Jerry. So, in my opinion, I like Futurama's characters a little more. But the main, 
like the main ones, uh, Rick and Morty are better than the other main ones, which the main main ones in Futurama would probably be Fry, Bender, and Leela. They're great, but I think Rick and Morty's a little better than those two. I'm Mr. Meeseeks. I want to be popular at school. Ooh, okay. Round <laughs> two, world. Thanks to the power of Rick's portal gun, Rick and Morty has taken viewers for a ride through all kinds of dimensions and planets. Yeah, I'd like to order one large person with extra people, please. White people. No, 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 no. Black people and Hispanic on half. <laughs> While some of these locations are there for a good joke, many of them have served as crucial plot points or yeah, as a true. way for the show to present a perspective on certain topics. There's pros and cons to every alternate timeline. Fun facts about this one. It's got giant telepathic spiders, 11 9 11s, and the best ice cream in the multiverse. Shut. How would a microverse <laughs> handle the knowledge that its existence is virtually meaningless? Could a society based on the purge really work? Additionally, every world we've encountered Mad is brimming world. with personality or Mad Max, and stunning me. visual design. Mad World's a game on the Wii that nobody played. But I or played. People, but it's put the same amount of effort into building its universe as Rick and Morty has. Here's Stadium, where our women basketball teams play. We know can dunk, but good fundamentals. That more fun to watch. <laughs> Assholes about the you WNBA. You have planets that are built off of pop culture references, and you have <laughs> planets that convey unique ideas. However, Futurama boasts more memorable planets because of its jokes and parodies. Who could ever forget the visit to the Slurm Factory or the planet of Amazons where men are put to death by Snoo Snoo? Snoo Snoo! Death to the men! Death by Snoo Snoo! Death by Snoo Snoo! <laughs> Although the Snoo Snoo part's gonna be pretty good. Maybe it'll blow your mind. Literally. It was a tough decision, <laughs> but we have to give the point to Futurama. Both shows are imaginative with their worlds and yeah. use them effectively in creating great stories. Futurama's a little better However, in that, but Futurama they're both really good. Morty with its more hilarious settings. Winner, Futurama. <laughs> Sir, are you aware that you're leaking coolant at an alarming rate? Uh, let me just patch you up with some hot resin. I think the leak's stopping itself. Uh, wait, wait. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> poor, Round poor three, Rye. humor. One could argue that humor is subjective, so this yeah. one is pointless, but hear us out on this one. When watching an episode of Futurama, you can expect <laughs> a wide rainbow of humor on display. Hey, as long as you don't make me smell your anus. <laughs> I don't get it. I'm sorry, Fry, but astronomers renamed Uranus in 2620 to end that stupid joke once and for all. <laughs> oh, what's it called now? Eurectum. There will be slapstick humor, animation <laughs> gags, sexual innuendos, <laughs> irony, ridiculous musical numbers, and sometimes plain stupidity. So just yeah. fire the damn thing. Oops. Really? It's great that the show's humor can appeal to a wider <laughs> audience, but with that massive palette of comedy, Ooh. not every joke is gonna land or even make someone chuckle. Okay, Crow, prepare to be scared. And then, honk honk! The car honked its own horn! Some jokes just carry the same <laughs> setup as jokes from an earlier episode. Basically, if you're someone who appreciates a particular niche type of comedy, Futurama may not be the side-splitting cartoon you're looking for. Come on, number six, move it! <sighs> Don't do that! What are you... <laughs> Man, it's contagious. Rick and Morty <laughs> never forgets that it is a comedy cartoon for adults and knows that if it wants to keep its audience laughing, it will have to keep a steady beat of jokes. Huh, seems like TV from other dimensions has a somewhat looser feel to it. Yeah, it's got an almost improvisational tone. And that it does. <laughs> Even though Rick and Morty can get a little mean-spirited at times, the show is constantly belting out jokes while still moving the plot along. You basically killed us all! <laughs> You're as dumb as a bag of what sand! What an idiot, Morty! Morty. Your Rick has the dumbest thing I've ever laid eyes on! You're an idiot, dumb Morty! What an idiot! What a dumb Morty! Who's stupid now, bitch? Rarely is there a scene completely <laughs> devoid of humor. Yeah. Rick and Morty isn't above making the occasional pop culture joke or bad pun, either. This isn't over, is it? That means no, it isn't over, or you disapprove of the question. Uh, make a fist if this isn't over. This isn't over. Sorry, Futurama. <laughs> Rick and Morty steals the point this round. Compared to Matt Groening's show, Justin Roiland's series has humor that is focused, doesn't detract from the story, or not often at least, and follows an even Yeah, piece. I have to agree with him Where? on this one. Rick and Morty. Rick and Morty. Here we go! Yeah. <laughs> That's the sound I make when I'm trying to run fast. Round four, heart. Hmm. It's almost clear who might win this one. 
Rick and Morty can show a human side every once in a while, but that side only shines when facing a dark and dismal truth. Morty, you're wearing a Vindicator jacket. Are you a little superhero now? Everyone in the universe is a hero, Mom, which is why we don't need jackets, and I'm pretty sure we don't need Vindicators. How many times has the show ever bummed you out with its often blunt lessons on life? Was it the season two finale where Rick finally realizes what his problems have caused? I'm doing and then he wakes up in season three. And, you, so yeah, it had nothing to do to with Earth. that. <laughs> Can my family have a normal life? How about the various times where Rick's self-destructive behavior comes to light? Or that moment where Morty talks to Summer about fearing death? Nobody exists on purpose. Nobody belongs anywhere. Everybody's gonna die. That's right. Come watch TV. Granted, there are a few emotional moments, like some of the times where Rick sacrifices himself to save Morty, but there are far too many episodes where things end in a somewhat depressing manner or get too intense. Much like hmm. The Simpsons, Futurama carries a hefty handful of episodes that are as tearful as they are funny. Even though the characters exchange some harsh banter every now and then, they know when things are serious. Well, more or less. I'll never forget him. But he forgot me a long, long time ago. Oh, that episode's episodes so like sad. Episodes like Lethal Inspection and The Luck of the Fryrish warmed our oh, hearts that with episode. their touching stories and have been deemed as some of the show's best episodes. They are the, some really, of the best just episodes. just watching the series finale without shedding a tear or cracking a smile. Oh, the series Here finale was amazing, Philip too. Fry, named for his uncle, to carry on his spirit. Oh, yeah. That was an amazing, incredible Edgar, episode. I got the clover plus his wedding ring. Sorry, ladies, I'm ticking. <laughs> hey, Fry, you want me to smack the corpse up a little? While we can appreciate Rick and Morty's real side, the show can get dark to the point where it brings the mood down. Futurama, on the other hand, finds a perfect balance between getting real and telling a human story. Yeah, I agree Winner, with him on that. Futurama. Five, animation. Futurama boasts some excellent character designs and animation. But what else Crap, can you expect no from idea. an animation icon like Matt Groening? His style has become so prominent in our time that the second you see that prolonged upper lip, you know it's a graining cartoon. Never That's mind, true. Professor. That's he true. came too. Oh, so close. However, <laughs> part of what makes a graining cartoon so special is how characters are animated. Much like Springfield's family, Futurama never forgets it's a cartoon and will sometimes pull off ridiculous gags you'd see in something like Looney Tunes or Tex Avery's work. That's true. It also bears <laughs> mentioning that the show was one of the that first to incorporate 3D animation with a 2D art style. Yeah, it, doesn't it get looks crazy really good often, too. But with expressive movements and emotions, Futurama's animation makes Ooh, for a fun and I'm goofy my show. own grandfather! <laughs> <laughs> Now, if Futurama were the Mona Lisa, Rick and Morty would be the Jackson Pollock of cartoons. And that isn't necessarily a bad thing. Come on, Pen Sylvester. Give me anything. <laughs> Rick, I'm Pen Sylvester. Listen to that name. You can't kill me. You're right. Kill Pen Sylvester. While the character designs are <laughs> simple, at least for the main cast, Justin Roiland's creation succeeds in other areas. Rick and Morty manages to nail a certain level of grotesque we haven't seen in <laughs> cartoons in a long time. From the insane mm -hmm. amount of gore to know. Rick's South Park's schmutz, still around. the show has managed to be gross without being over the top or in your face about it. While we can admire how Futurama pioneered animation techniques and evolved Graining's work, Indeed. we have to give it this really round did. to Rick and Morty. Seriously, how often do you see gross characters look this good? Winner, Rick and Morty. And now you're gonna have to go and do whatever I say, Morty, forever. And I'll, and I'll, I'll go out and I'll find some more of that Mulan Szechuan teriyaki dipping sauce, Morty. <laughs> Did we pick the right winner? Which show is your favorite and why? Let us know which show is best in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to Watch Mojo for more intense versus battles. So, um, in my personal opinion, this is something I actually never thought about, which is weird. It's something I should have thought about. I actually plan on making a top 10 list. I've thought about before. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see me make this list. But it's a top 10 list of top 10 greatest adult comedy cartoons. Which obviously will include Rick and Morty, Futurama, like, of all time, basically. I've been wanting to make this list. It's just, you know... Uh, Top 10s take more to, a lot more time to make. I mean, yeah, Watch Mojo has a bunch of top 10 videos on a daily basis, but that's because I have an entire team working on it. It's just me here. So on my second channel, Broadstore Media, I did manage to upload a few top 10s, but I was uploading them every week, and it caused me some serious burnout, and I just couldn't keep up with it. But I would like to, at some point, make some top 10s again. I actually have a lot of ideas for top 10s. Between these two shows, I'm going to say in this video, Rick and Morty. 
I think since I disagreed with them on the first one, uh, according to this list, I think it's Futurama, but um, the points that Rick and Morty have are more valuable than the points that Futurama has. So, um, I actually do think Rick and Morty is a little bit better than Futurama. I think both those shows are incredible, and I'd love it if Futurama came back for a third run. I mean, yeah, don't get, I mean, that does show a lack of creativity to just, you know, keep doing the same shows all over and over. At least Matt Groening has uh, Disenchantment on Netflix, although I wouldn't mind if The Simpsons would just, you know, just end their run and make way for Futurama. <laughs> That's not going to happen, though. Simpsons will never die. Anyways, what do you think? Do you think Futurama is better, or do you think Rick and Morty is better? And if you haven't seen both shows, um, I recommend you do. If you're into cartoons that adults like to watch, that are a lot of fun, that can have heart in it, but have, you know, some gross jokes and some funny jokes and all that stuff, that jo jokes that adults would find funny, you should watch these shows. They're awesome.